There is, however, one big difference between Donald Trump and Richard Nixon, and Trump himself put this out there, and he said, he left, I don't leave. A big difference. Interesting. I've highlighted the similarities between Richard Nixon and Donald Trump in terms of criticism from the press in previous episodes of The George Collection, but now knowing how deep this relationship actually ran between a mentorship and letters, and maybe a connection between John Kennedy Jr. as well, with being on the first anniversary issue, it certainly adds another puzzle piece to this puzzle we're trying to put together. I think we're going to be shocked when this is all said and done when we find out who's all been involved and how long this plan's been going on. And I consider Richard Nixon somewhat of a media martyr. Though he didn't want to, he took one for the team. And in doing so, he revealed the press's playbook, the deep state's playbook when it comes to using their propaganda arm to ruin a president. I kind of look at it like this. Richard Nixon's up to bat. Donald Trump's on third base. There's only one out. Richard Nixon hits a high fly ball to center field. Trump tags up, waits for the center fielder to catch the ball, and he throws it home, but it's too late. Donald Trump has already scored the winning run, and America wins. Did Nixon want to get out at first? Probably not. But in going through what he went through and sharing what he knew with Donald Trump and others, he helped progress the plan forward because this time around, maybe we were a little more prepared for it. And I just really want to apologize to Richard Nixon for being wrong about him this whole time. And I think uh, Americans are going to come to that realization here very soon as well.